discuss uh, in our continuing series on HR issues. Uh, today we're going to speak about what is a always current and always sort of hot topic, the question of social communications and um, as we entitled this, is your boss spying on you? When it comes to race and gender and religion hiring questions, if you do what the federal law says you're supposed to do, you're going to be doing the right thing. You don't have to think about it. They say that thing. Not true here. Um, not because the laws of privacy are wrong, but because basically there aren't any. You can do anything you want. If you want to monitor every website someone goes to, every email they write, everything they ever send on any social network site, if you want to plunge in there and ferret out this totally non work related sensitive information about people, you can do it. It's legal. In most workplaces, an employer provides technology to their employees to send and receive messages. In most circumstances, it is for work-related reasons. However, there are employers and there are employees that allow and use work technology for personal messages. And that's where the line becomes blurred. Tigerson used his employer's computer and network for personal use and saved personal information in a location that could be accessed by his employer. Despite warnings in the handbook that personal use was prohibited and monitored, indeed the situation is very similar to a hypothetical in another case where the court found that if the employer provided the locker and the lock and retained the master key, the employee could have no expectation of privacy. So despite the labeling of the folder as personal, in this case, the court held the policy applied because there could be no reasonable expectation of privacy based on the notice that had been provided. Uh, obviously, we don't come up with all the answers at these breakfasts, but we certainly have a good discussion. So I'd like to invite all of you to, once again, show your gratitude for our speakers today.